Hi, I'm Juliet Hammack, and I am the lead teacher for Oak Grove's new biotechnology pathway. This is the only biotechnology pathway we have in the Eastside Union High School District, and so I'm really excited that I was uh, asked to start it. And so we are now two years in. Um, I had my first uh, group of freshmen last year, and it was a real delight to teach the students. Uh, we had uh, just our biotechnology one course. Um, this year, um, I'm teaching another Biotech One course to my incoming freshmen, and I now have those same students that were my freshmen last year as my sophomores in my Applied Chemistry course. These are the first two courses in our pathway. Um, the pathway ultimately will consist of four courses, um, but uh, students do not have to take all four courses necessarily to be in the pathway. Um, biotechnology is a really important industry right now, especially even if you weren't totally aware of it January last year, you would be very aware of it now because it's been key in developing the vaccines, the several vaccines that are going to be uh, available for the coronavirus. and. Um, and more and more, we're using biotechnology to improve um, life both for human beings medically and also for things like biofuels and um, other, other types of uh, even laundry uh, detergents, which have enzymes in them that have been bioengineered to um, be more effective. So there's all sorts of applications for biotechnology. And, um, the other thing is that if your child is interested in going into medicine, having a strong foundation in these principles will, uh, and the experiences that they get in this pathway will give them a leg up for when they are applying for college and also continuing their own studies um, after high school. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, um, our first course is Biotech 1, and this is for freshmen, although sophomores can take it. Um, but it counts as a regular life science course, even though it's in our CTE, Career Technical Education pathway. Um, the sophomore course is Applied Chemistry for Biotechnology, and this is also counting as a regular physical science course. Uh, the, my thinking for why I did it this way was because um, a lot of times pathway students struggle with how do they get their pathway course and also take their requirements. There's so many requirements in freshman and sophomore year that they have to get through. And so by giving them these two courses that also um, are covering required courses, they can still be involved in the pathway from right when they get into high school and still be working towards graduation and also college preparedness. So to me, it made perfect sense to have these um, specific courses that align with regular biology and regular chemistry, even though the emphasis is more on the cellular level of um, biotechnology. Um, the third and fourth year courses, which are the concentrator and the capstone course for juniors and seniors, ha um, they're actually not, they're not here yet. I will be, um, run, will be um, piloting our junior course of uh, biology and community health next year, so the 2021-22 school year. And then the senior course, a capstone of ethics and biology, will be in the 22-23 uh, year. So it's uh, a little ways down the road, but uh, I'm really looking forward to um, both these courses, uh, teaching them and also getting other teachers involved here at Oak Grove. Oak Grove has an excellent um, science department. Actually, all of its departments are really great, but I especially really enjoy working within the science department. A lot of the teachers are very excited about this pathway as well. And so, um, so I'm really looking forward to teaching those, uh, those capstone courses uh, when the time comes. Um, one of the other things we're working on in our pathway is to articulate with a junior college, um, Ohlone College, uh, which is up in uh, Fremont, 
in Alameda County. It's not actually that far away. Um, it just seems that way sometimes. But uh, anyway, they um, they actually have a um, biotechnology program themselves, and so um, they have worked on being articulated with a number of schools in the Bay Area, and so we're looking to get articulated because that way, if um, they can, if we can articulate with them, they can get students can get college credit for the work they've done here while they're taking these courses, and uh, that makes it easier for them to. Um, get through college, it saves them money, it um, positions them even also to get into a program more easily, a um, technical program more easily. Uh, Ohlone College does provide certification, so that means that a, um, a student can go there and get either a certificate or an associate's degree in some aspect of biotechnology and then be ready to go into the workforce without necessarily having to go through all four years of college. So um, to me, that's a really um, a great advantage uh, to be associated with them. Additionally, they provide uh, summer uh, internships and also um, enrichment programs for students. Um, and so that gives them, again, more insight into what kinds of um, educational um, requirements they have and also career opportunities. So um, anyway, I think that's, that's pretty much all I have to say right now about our program. I wish I could be telling you more about the, the kinds of hands-on activities they are doing this year, but this year's been pretty not hands-on. Uh, last year, I'll talk a little bit about last year. Last year, my freshmen were learning how to do um, micro pipetting, and they were learning how to run a micro centrifuge, and they were... Uh, they'd run some gels already. Um, they did uh, DNA extractions. Uh, we were getting ready to do some um, uh, bacterial transformation, which is where you take a bacterium and you actually put different DNA into that bacterium, and then it can make different proteins, and you measure how much it makes. It's, a it's actually really cool. Um, but unfortunately, now... Um, we just look at all of this through Zoom, the wonders of Zoom. So um, yeah, that's pretty much how things are. Uh, but anyway, if you are interested in the program, please feel free to email me. I am Juliet Hammock, and it's H-A-M-A-K-J at E-S-U-H-S-D dot org. Thanks for listening. Bye.